LCA is programmed in Java and therefore needs an Oracle Java runtime installed. On a Windows machine, Oracle Java comes with the operating system, so you don't need to worry about Java. On a fresh Linux system, though, Oracle Java is not installed by default. So let's first install Oracle Java on Ubuntu Linux 12.04 LTS. In this screencast, we show you how to install Oracle Java version 7 in Ubuntu 12.04 using a PPA, a personal package archive. So first thing, start your terminal, then copy this line here, or type it in, then press return type in your password press enter then do a sudo apt get update And then a sudo apt-get install oracle java 7 installer a minus in between the last three words so sudo apt-get install oracle java 7 minus installer return Yes, we do want to continue. Now this message comes up and you need to confirm. Yes. So this can take a minute or two. So when this done you can do a Java minus version that should tell us what type of Java we have installed which should of course be Oracle Java So this is finished. <laughs>
open OCA store status sets in MySQL Server, so we need to install MySQL Server too. Go into the Ubuntu Software Center and search for MySQL. So this is your Ubuntu Software Center and in the search window type in MySQL Server. Note we need to install the server and not the client. Select the server and install. Type in your password which is your system password and not your MySQL server password. Note that uh, during the installation of MySQL server you will be asked for a password. This is a password to access the databases in MySQL server. You need to write down your password because you need that password later in OpenLCA to connect to the MySQL server. So type in your password for the MySQL root user, so which is the administrator in a Windows on a Windows machine. Repeat the password and the installation continues. I briefly halt the recording. So this can easily take a minute or two. So my SQL server is now, you see this little tick box here, is now installed. downloading OpenLCA version 1.3. So note we have now installed both a Java runtime and MySQL server. So you go to www.openlca.org forward slash download page note you have a download, there is an underscore after the download so this is where you are going in your browser so scroll down and choose your operating system now you, if you are running Windows, you uh, go in for the Windows binary in 32-bit or 64-bit and uh, because we are running Ubuntu Linux on 32-bit, we are going for this binary here. So we just click on the binary on this file. This takes you here. And it should bring up after a couple of seconds this window here. And we save the file into our download folder. So the file is about 160 megabytes in size and uh, that should take a minute or two. So here is your progress bar. 
so downloads download is finished now and uh, remember where you stored your file so shut your browser go into your file navigator to downloads and in our case we open it with our archiver and select the file and extract the file into the download folder this should be fairly quick and we are now this has generated this openlc file here we are now ready to run OpenLCA. So on Ubuntu Linux you can right click into properties and just check that this execute tick box is ticked. So then just right click and open. So we are now running OpenLCA for the first time. So this is version 1.3 from July 2013. And here is the OpenLCA software. Thank you for listening.